This is still March 4th, 2024. Um, things have got interesting. Okay. In the beginning of the case, they said it was the judge over my case doing it, my divorce case. And it was him doing it from that courthouse. Well, the first time I went into my divorce hearing, okay, it said Judge Stephen something, and that's who I thought was over my divorce. Here, Judge Timothy Ludick didn't change out the name once. And the people that were getting in the back, the stripper and her brother, they didn't know who he was. Peeking their head in the courtroom. Then walking around the back of the courthouse, telling people that they were there to protect me. Okay? Well, the... Uh -huh. And they looked in and it said, Judge Stephen something. Well, you know, I was so nervous that the first court hearing, I just looked at the name on it, it said Stephen something. So everybody's like, you know, it's that judge from that courthouse over a divorce thing on this. And da 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 Okay. Well, they'd say it on and off. November of 2021, people outside my apartment. And they're rambling. And no one's to say a word. It's that judge from that courthouse doing this to her. And I thought, it's Ludic, right? Okay. So I went down to Oakland apartment on Cleveland Avenue. People, because they saw the walk-in, they have it there. They walked out laughing when I pulled in. It's actually retired Judge Pete. The one that looked like a little white sand They were laughing. It's actually him. I, you know, and then people were talking, and it's actually retired Judge Pete. Okay. Well, the day of my divorce, 9 18 19, I go in, and outside my courtroom, uh, they were joking around. Where you had us look into it, you knew she couldn't handle it, and you knew she appreciated us doing it. And you can find she did nothing wrong. Well, the guy walks by, looks like that retired Judge Pete on the wall. Okay. And a Santa Claus outfit, you know, long beard and a robe walk around like this. Well, Judge Timothy Ludic uh, comes in laughing and we're ready to begin. I thought you look like that Alex spitting image of him, the guy that said he bashed my head in. On 12 21 18. In protected custody, they have a video of him trying to kill me. Okay. There's been an image of him in a beard. It was him in a beard. It was him in a beard. Investigators have showed up. We went to, they wanted a reliable witness. We went to that judge over her divorce. He was, you know, dressed up in that Santa beard and robe. Didn't know what he was doing. Was laughing at him for walking around acting silly. He didn't know who he was. Okay, they wanted a reliable witness. He even seen him. I went to Cecily Mullins, an attorney up here, and I said, who is that retired judge? Pete looks like a little boy Santa. She's like, I don't know. Okay? I don't know. I said, well, he was in the back, da, 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 da. And she's like, well, if his picture was on the wall, he's been retired a very long time. I And she'd been an attorney there for a while. So you put 10, 15 years or more, on a 60-65 case, we're talking 75-85 plus. Wouldn't have an 18-year-old daughter named Michelle. Him and Michelle look like brother and sister. The Alex, the guy that claimed he bashed my head in. Okay? It is this, that is Alex in the beard. It is him in a beard. People were laughing in Target. It really was Alex in a beard. He's been driving around laughing at everybody for falling for this. It was just Alex and a beard. And other people laughing. That guy that said he was a doctor selling his information. Boy, could she own him if he was really a doctor selling, get, uh, sharing her information. He, She could have owned him. Right? Well, I'm going to tell you what. Judge Timothy Ludic isn't just a county judge. He's a district judge. He's like right under federal. 
He ain't gonna mess with no fool like my ex-husband and some stupid prostitute and some drug dealers. He's the kind of person that goes on to be like a congressman and stuff like that. Or a federal judge. He doesn't mess with fools. I mean, sure as hell wouldn't be guilty of kitty porn. Of taping little kids going potty and having some poor woman drug beat and raped. People like that have enough money to pay off their wife and make it go away real quick. In a divorce hearing. And he would know better not to be over my thing if that was his friend. Conflict of interest gets him in jail. He's not just a county judge. He's a district judge. People in North Camp were talking. None of this is funny. It was just, everybody said that's just that stripper and her brother. And that even Ludic didn't know who he was. And they were trying to blame Ludic for this. They've been trying to blame him since 19. See, they said it was the judge over their case. And because they didn't know who Ludic was, they looked in and the long black was up there and it said Judge Stephen something. See, I was so nervous. I even thought his name was Stephen something. Because... I was just too nervous the first time we were in there. Mm -mm. They didn't know who he was. The riffraff had gotten the back peaked in the courtroom. They didn't know who he was. They don't want to play with Ludic. He's a district judge. Those people in Ravenna are crazy. You don't want to play with a district judge and trying to frame him. It's bad enough where they said the damn bastards that did it to her tried to frame a Portage County judge. You try framing a Portage County district judge over that whole area. You're playing with hell. They already made fun of the FBI agent job that they pulled him. And now you want to say you're framing a judge. See, they've been trying to frame that judge up there. To get up like judges are above the law. They're not above the law. They answer to the law just like we do. They thought if they put the word judge on it, they would be above the law. My ex-husband ran the biggest scam walking in there with his prostitute girlfriend, her brother in a beard, and one of their drug dealers trying to say their doctor selling information into a federal office to punk them. Think about that. Well, that agent would know better. All the laws in, in the Constitution stops everything. And then laws that roll over land, if they were to arrest him. But yeah, he's playing with hell. He's playing with real hell. You know, I hope that judge demands that FBI case. Because, you know, they got him. The Kingsman saying they all work with him. Huh? That Dave hired the Kingsman to come here? Well, they're here killing people. Because Dave hired him to come uh, try to kill me and then harass me. You know... And those two drug dealers fight. And this whole thing is a, a big drug spell, a pot. Like they said in front of the cops. And the cops have known it. That's where those investigators walked out of Red Lobster yesterday in Belden Village. This whole thing is those two drug gangs fighting over this area. They used her as a pawn. Nobody's allowed to see anything what they did to her before setting up that pawn. Okay. And um, da, 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 And they were talking about different things. Where it's a bet between two gentlemen. The two different bets. The winner takes all of their drug wars. They're using her as a pawn. They said it from the cops. The cops always knew her as a pawn. See, that's where this whole thing. Even in 22, July 4th or 22, in Navarre, they were talking about the bets. We're fighting over this area. Okay. I'm going to upload this. But framing a district judge. And then caught on police surveillance. Have you been saying that? That's. Judge Timothy Ludwig would not play with a fool like my ex-husband. Or a stripper. Or a drug cartel. And he sure as hell wouldn't be a. Dealing with a bunch of drug gangs, human trafficking people, and having some poor woman drunk, beat, and raped in a extortion scheme, and tape little kids going potty, and be accused of kitty porn. You're playing with the wrong person to frame.
they like playing without. They really, really like playing without. It's like with someone who is a breast or double breasts. They have them carrying around the house. Um, I went up to meet with Abigail Watkins, Portage County prosecutor, the um, victim activist. I actually went in to see George Timothy Ludick and he was too busy and I went to leave. But I had made that phone call and I know the police have a copy of my phone. And I did on purpose and call my sister and give a big statement. And the nice ribbon officer, gray hair, mustache, and dandruff, when I walked in, he looked panicked. Because he heard this horrible statement of what happened to me. And I asked to speak to Judge Timothy Ludic. And he was busy and I went to leave and he said, like, I can't let you leave. I said, I got to go. And I started to cry. He's like, I can't let you leave. You got to talk to Abigail. Victim activist. And as I was talking to her, the man walked off with the FBI. I'm here carrying around the house, walked off with lady officers. I finished talking to her. She told me to make a report at the Portage County Sheriff. The lady ribbon officer walked me out. I want you to run around and tell everybody you know. You hold the FBI accountable. People got away with way too much. You tell the Portage County Sheriff. Um, people have showed up. I said in that file that no one's allowed to talk to me about an ongoing case, but how to get a hold of them. See, that's what Officer Mark, the tall white guy with white hair, 50-ish. Lamar Sharp, Michael Breswell, Amar, and the other Michael at CSE Bank Canton officers in Canton. I seen Officer Mark walk out of the back and then um, some other Canton officers refer to them as officers. Uh, they were also seen by the North Canton police um, at Liberty House Sheriff in June of 19, and the Star County Sheriff should know who they are. He showed up in Hartville when they tried to tell people they taped me before in a very nice neighborhood. Well, they called the police on him, and he shows up. Him or Officer John will show up. And I seen him outside my clients, and he was telling them, um, Kurt told them they're going to get in a lot of trouble for all this. Um, She's actually an informant, and no one's allowed to talk to her. See, that's what the case file says. No one's allowed to talk to me about an ongoing case, but if I have a problem, how to get a hold of them. FBI informant, like the officers that watch me. You're an FBI informant. Don't ever forget, even if they deny you. You will always be an FBI informant. Don't ever forget who you are. Time, dates, witnesses. Get them to pull the evidence. It's a nationwide human trafficking scam. I was left in the middle of two drug cartels fighting over this area. Using me as a pawn. I got human trafficked, my skull bashed in, almost murdered several times by rival drug gangs. Caught on police surveillance. Protected home custody for an FBI informant with statements. Like I said, that case stands up in court without her. They don't even need her. That's where other sheriffs and marshals all this area use the case. Got 800 back on. January 20th, 23, I met with a friend. I said, I got a friend on the police department. I think the police, whole police department showed up. They all came in in dress shirts. They don't want to talk to me. But they didn't see me. They couldn't talk around me to each other. And for me to listen. They didn't say they couldn't have somebody ask me questions in front of them. There's always loopholes, right? Exactly. They talk around me in front of me so I know what's going on. And they have other people talk to me. He's like, I got a friend on the police department. You know about the case that Asian opened with you? They knew about the Texas group involved in your case. I'm like, Kingsland? For we all work for the king from Texas. We are his men. They've hired us. He sent us here to help. He's a drug lord. He was one of the biggest ones in the U.S., a fentanyl king. You Google who he is, he's a fentanyl king. Okay? The police have him under surveillance day of hiring our drug lord. They have him. For light, several life sentences. Okay? 
and then we go through the different things in the case and the place we're getting ready to take care of them so they're not releasing a lot of information. And he drills me in front of them, tall and stuttery. I cry for two days. Don't do this to me. They tortured me. They crushed my head. The human trafficked me. No, no. Okay? And I saw videos of it. Three weeks later, they did an 800 people sweep, February 14th, 22, where they said they're getting ready to take care of it. Within three weeks, they did an 800 people sweep. Across the nation, got over 180 out of Ohio. April 8th, 2023, some of the drug dealers left, showed up uh, in Hartville, Johnny Goldfield, used your case to have a trainer gang. You tell them to give me your money, we're out of here. So the officers watched me more by laughing. I actually did. We were hoping they didn't figure it out. I'm more mocking. It's like monkey in the middle. I hate it. Um, but I'm going to go upload this. Yeah, they've been where they, those people, they, they were laughing. People in Target, they said they all found out Michelle was a prostitute. And they were laughing about that. Okay. Then other people were laughing. It really was just Alex and a beard. Okay. He's been driving around laughing at everybody for falling for him. And then other people were talking. The guy that impersonated a doctor was laughing. If he really was a doctor, she would really would own him. There's HIPAA violations. It's not attached to their license. They can't talk to anybody without your release. Not the police, not the feds. They go to jail. And you can get to them for emotional damage and physical, financial, anything. I would own them. That's where Altman Hospital, December 30th, 23. No one wants to talk to these people. They were having somebody impersonate a doctor from Altman Hospital selling information. The hospital could get sued. Oh, they'd make me a millionaire. Any doctor selling information without signed release is... Uh, quarter million dollar fine and a 10 year sentence impersonating a doctor is one to 10. Like they said, it wasn't even funny. They said they had a doctor. No doctor of hers could ever talk to them. Okay. He said, yeah, they said he was laughing. She really would have owned him. Oh yeah. And they had laughed at people for falling for their big pawn. It was a big drug scam so that they could human traffic and drug trade in front of people and people would be so stupid and laugh at me. Instead of calling the cops on them. Like they'd be above the law. You know, they thought if they put the name retired judge, that they'd be above the law. And people fell for it. No, no man's above the law. Nixon couldn't bog an office. He got impeached. He almost went to jail. And he was president of the United States when he did it. The right to privacy over somebody's home and office. They can't be in it. Like Officer Reinhardt said in Roosevelt, I don't care what they say they got. I don't care what they say they did. It's illegal to look and listen. Nobody can be in your home, not even the FBI, outside of protective life case with statements. And they had, he had to have the statements of the federal life and agree to protect you. Or they'd go to jail for being in your home and they can't look or listen. That's where the Portage County Sheriff's or the employees, the Star County, the guy from the Star County Prosecutor's Office, what these people did is illegal. And then it's a fraud scheme. That agent would know that. I'm going to go ahead and upload this.